determining the empty weight and EWCG. When the aircraft is properly prepared for weighing, roll it onto the scales and level it. The weights are measured at three weighing points, the two main wheel points and the nose wheel point. The empty weight and EWCG are determined by using the following steps and results are recorded in the weight and balance record for use in all future weight and balance computations. Step 1. Determine the moment index of each of the main wheel points by multiplying the net weight, scale reading less tear weight in pounds at these points by the distance from the datum in inches. Divide these numbers by the appropriate reduction factor. Step 2. Determine the moment index of the nose wheel weighing point by multiplying its net weight in pounds by its distance from the datum in inches. Divide this by the reduction factor. Step 3. Determine the total weight by adding the net weight of the three weighing points and the total moment index by adding the moment indexes of each point. Step 4. Determine the total moment index by the total weight and multiply this by the reduction factor. This gives the CG in inches from the datum. Step 5. Determine the distance of the CG behind the leading edge of the mean aerodynamic cord by subtracting the distance between the datum and the lemma from the distance between the datum and the CG. Step 6. Determine the EWCG in percent Mach by using this formula. EWCG in percent Mach equals CG in inches from Lemach times 100 all over Mach. Determining the loaded CG of the airplane in percent Mach. The basic operating weight or BOW and the operating index are entered into a loading schedule like the one in figure 7-1. And the variables for the specific flight are entered as are appropriate to determine the loaded weight and CG. Use the data in this example. Basic operating weight is 105,500 pounds. Basic operating index or total moment divided by 1,000 is 98,837.0. Mach is 180.9 inches. Lemach is 860.5. Use figure 7-2 to determine the moment indexes for the passengers, cargo, and fuel. The airplane is loaded in this way. Under passengers with nominal weight 170 pounds each, forward compartment is 18, aft compartment is 95. Under cargo, Forward hold is 1,500 pounds. Aft hold is 2,500 pounds. Under fuel, tank 1 and 3 is 10,500 pounds each. Tank 2 is 28,000 pounds. Determine the location of the CG in inches aft of the datum by using this formula. CG inches aft of datum equals total moment index divided by total weight times 1000. This will be 161,646 divided by 177,710 times 1000. The answer will be 909.6 inches. Determine the distance from the CG to the LEMAC by subtracting the distance between the datum and lemak from the distance between the datum and the CG. Distance CG to lemak equals datum to CG minus datum to lemak. This will be 909.6 minus 860.5. 
the answer will be 49.1 inches. The location of the CG in percent Mac must be known in order to set the stabilizer trim takeoff. Use this formula. CG percent Mac equals distance CG to Lemac divided by Mac times 100. This will be 49.1 divided by 180.9 times 100. The answer will be 27.1%. Onboard aircraft weighing system. Some large transport airplanes have an onboard aircraft weighing system that when the aircraft is on the ground, gives the flight crew a continuous indication of the aircraft total weight and the location of the CG in percent Mach. The system consists of strain sensing transducers in each main wheel and nose wheel axle, a weight and balance computer, and indicators that show the gross weight, the CG location in percent of Mach, and an indicator of the ground attitude of the aircraft. 